This video presents a registration method designed to align 2D images over 3D models that may have different modalities. This work has been carried out by the VBOAT team of the University of Burgundy in France. In order to validate and evaluate our approach, we have acquired data of different modalities using a robot that embed a Kinect, a near-infrared and a polarization camera. The complete system is calibrated and has been implemented using the ROS middleware. During the acquisitions, the robot trajectory is estimated using Orb Slam on the Kinect data. For each Orb Slam keyframe, the data captured by the three cameras in their respective pose are saved. A 3D model of the environment is built using the point clouds of every keyframe. The camera's data in this model represent our ground truth to qualitatively and quantitatively evaluate our registration method. The 2D to 3D registration has been designed in the form of a particle swarm optimization. Each particle of the swarm is actually a virtual camera that moves inside the 3D model trying to reach a desired pose represented by the real image given in input. The core of the process consists of two main stages, the displacement of the swarm which is based on a dense visual feature, and the creation of new particles that is based on geometrical sparse visual features. This framework has been conceived to fully take advantages of both geometrical and dense visual features to perform an accurate final 2D-3D alignment. Here are some examples of the registration of near-infrared images over the 3D model. 30 virtual cameras are randomly initialized in the search space of the swarm and the number of virtual camera created during the creation stages is limited to 20. For ease of visualization, the images of only 6 virtual cameras are displayed here. Thanks to the mutual improvement performed by both geometrical and dense visual features, all the virtual cameras of the swarm converge to a same estimated pose, leading to a precise alignment between the 3D model and the near-infrared images. Comparisons of camera pose estimation using either both types of visual features or only one of them have been carried out. As expected, because of the large initial search space and the very tight convergence domain of a dense feature, the estimated poses are often far from the desired solution when we only use a dense visual metric. On the other hand, because of the difficulties to find reliable sparse correspondences between the real and the virtual images, the poses computed from geometrical sparse features are sometimes badly estimated. As it can be seen, despite these issues the proposed framework that combines dense and sparse features provides an accurate pose estimation.